Hey Jonah here, thank you for joining me today as I check out the Tree Stand and Tripod Pack DLC. Uh, it comes with tripod stands and tree stands. We're going to be starting off with the tripod stand. Um, you see there's three variants, Arctic, Conifer and Timber. I don't know which one I've got equipped. I, I mean I've got all of them but I don't know which one I'll be using. And same with the tree stand now i've never used the tree stands before but i use the tripod quite a bit especially here in park fernando where i had to hunt a diamond of every animal so um i'm definitely quite familiar with it so we're going to be just looking at a lot of the like benefits to it we're going to go out and look for some mule deer and um yeah just gonna be a short little video because i'm not worried about targeting a range of animals i just really want to showcase the tripod and then see if the tree stands worth it as well so i'll gear up and then we'll head out and look for some mule deer okay well this is a spot that i used to frequent when grinding for a diamond mule deer um there's one there two there uh, one few there but if we put down the tripod and have a look from up high and see see the difference so there's actually three here oh there's Maybe even four. Yeah, so you can see more there. This one here. Ah, oh, see, there's a whole bunch. Clean another three right there. And this is the thing that makes a tripod so good is that from ground level, your view can be completely different to just being slightly up higher. See, it's three. Another three. You're all, all threes. Uh, okay. You can you can set the tripod up. Uh, I like to be about 150 meters away because uh, you can be closer. You can get around 130 meters away, but any any closer than that, and there's a chance that you're gonna spook them. So there's one there that um I didn't see on the ground level. Um yeah, you you're gonna spoke the animal if if you go any closer and try to set it up the tripod. So yeah, 150 meters is you're pretty safe there. Animals like uh hares and rabbits, you have to be closer and you well, they, they often just hear you and they'll take off. So it's not really ideal for that unless you leave a tripod set up. But you can go a full 360 degrees. You can rotate the stand much like a tent before placing it. So it doesn't matter too much if, you know, you've got the steps on this side. You're not stuck looking just here. You can look everywhere. Um, let's go for you. Don't know why I have my pistol there. About 150 meters. Down. And then you can just collect and move on. Obviously, you can leave the tripod standing. You just have to remember where it is to to go back and retrieve it. Okay. So nice right into the heart. Double run. 154 meters away. Real, real good shot. Just a silver, but still, that's a nice heart shot right there. And the other thing, the other advantage to hunting from the... the um, the tripod 
is your hunting pressure. So that's the hunting pressure from the mule deer we've just harvested. Um, and if you compare it to this hunting pressure from something that was shot at um, ground level, you can see the difference between the two. And obviously uh, the, the lower the hunting pressure, the quicker it will go away and the less likely you are to uh, delete need zones and things like that. So it's it's great for if you're going around hunting at various spots. You know, if you're grinding for a diamond and, and you've got several spots that you're just going from, uh, it, it's great for getting rid of the hunting pressure quicker so that often by the time you've done a full circuit of whatever lakes or whatever need zones you frequent basically can just start again you don't have to worry so much about it building up like crazy and here's just some footage um, I wanted to show demonstrating how close animals can get to you when you're on the tripod um, it will depend as well as which way the wind's blowing they will eventually spot you but as you can see you know, within 20 meters distance, this black buck is walking by like I'm not even there. Um, I don't really rely on getting this up and close, but it is something if you were like, oh, I want to do some bow hunting or something, but, you know, what I was saying earlier about 150 meters away, that won't work. It's like, no, not, not at all. Like, if you plant yourself in a need zone, I'd spread all these ones off by down in a couple first but as you can see they're all walking right back up and only now starting to to get concerned because they can smell me so that is also one of the advantages of this you can get up and close and they're taking off now the other point i wanted to highlight was in maps with buffalo the tripod can literally save your life um here i'm looking for red deer but hear the buffalo coming at me so I just quickly plant my tripod and now they can't hurt me. They won't give up and go away so you still have to deal with them whether you decide to try and pick them off from the tripod or whether you time it and just get down and get out of there but at least now I can continue looking for red deer and um, I don't I don't really have to worry about being massacred by this buffalo or having to make a lot of noise shooting it and scaring off what I'm actually here for. So there is that advantage in places like Africa, anywhere where um, there are buffalo, because I mean bison will eventually leave you alone, but buffalo, once you're locked onto you like this, they will not go away. So something to bear in mind as well that planting the tripod might scare off what you're after, sure, but at least you won't die so that's another thing i like about the tripod okay so we've got some red deer up ahead uh we're trying out the tree stand now i've never used it before i am not sure if the same rule applies regarding the noise so i don't really want to be much closer than this so you can see couple males maybe three but I'm gonna try for a tree okay just reading what that says and this is what I was worried about too like that needs to be a specific type of of tree I can understand to some extent. I don't know how tall the tree has to be. I don't know how straight it has to be. I don't know how much branches ignore the tree. I don't know if the thickness of the tree is a problem. But this was kind of my concern when it came to using a, uh, a tree stand. You're, you're at the complete mercy of the tree. 
And of course, I'm getting closer and closer to them, so... The wind's going to suddenly be against me. You know? They're definitely feeling a bit skitterish now. Nothing big. You, like, yeah, a five. Maybe a six. No, another five. A six. Yeah, this is exactly what I didn't like about the idea of the tree stand. Now that they're all scared, I can actually run around trying to find a tree. Oh, looks like we found a tree. Literally a tree. I'm in Yukon Valley now. I went to the recovering forest, but they weren't interested, but... Okay, so, very thin trees, with, well it makes sense to exposed branch, uh, trunks, but, right, well now that I know what highlighted trees actually look like, I can try to find some near an actual need zone. Alright, well there's a nice, nice caribou over here somewhere, I had a perfectly clear shot from over there, but the trees I'm not allowed to attach to, so I have to make my way over here, hoping that I can get a clear, clear shot of it. So let's try this tree here. Um, about there. Yeah, so, this hunting pressure and decreased visibility, that's kind of what I assumed. Problem is, where oh where is my calibou if I haven't just spooked it off? So you get full 360 as well, though of course you've got the tree trunk to contend with, but that's still not bad. There it is. Okay. It's not the ideal distance away. But he's down. And that's how you get down. Suppose I can um jump down. Now I gotta work out how do you mind it. I was gonna say how do you dismantle it? Just nicked the the heart, just nicked it. Only a silver again. But very, very high screen silver. So I'm I'm happy with the shot, but I gotta say I think the tree stand is absolutely terrible to be honest um you are at the complete and utter mercy of the trees themselves whether or not they will allow you to attach a stand before coming to this spot i went into the recovering forest because there are heaps of bare trees but you can't attach to them I'm guessing because they're dead. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be blunt, absolutely useless in a lot of scenarios. I mean, going that huge pack of red deer, all those trees, but nope, they're not perfectly straight trees with exposed branches. Can't use it. Um, I would definitely be focusing on the tripod over the tree stand. Uh, I mean, with the tripod, if you've got a need zone, you can head towards the need zone, find a good angle, make sure the wind's in your favour, and plant your stand, um, plant your, your tripod, and away you go. Here, with the tree stand, no, no, you gotta just hope there's good trees near your need zone, 
or near where you want to hunt and that the animal will be in a spot where you get a clear shot. I was lucky there with the caribou. It could have been right behind the bush and I couldn't have done anything about it. I'd have to just get down and try another tree. So definitely never gonna bother with the tree stand again and if you like it that's cool that's fine um for me personally though i i am never gonna bother trying to, to fiddle around with that when i can just use a tripod they both have uh, a weight of six which is the only real downside to them is that's a big chunk of your carry weight taken up but i just think if you're going to pick one, the tripod, the tripod all the way. Um, yeah, you can't set the tripod up everywhere. I mean, if something's too steep or there's too much bush or something, it's no good. There are some lakes that I've tried using it at, or at the water's edge, and I just can't because the, there's just thick bush everywhere, and you can't it won't allow you to set up the tripod but that's fine because you know you can move around a little bit more or whatever but the tree stand all these trees useless i'd say all these trees you can't you can't interact with it it's a tree stand for very specific trees and i'm guessing some of the earlier reserves kind of had that in mind maybe like maybe they made the tree stand thinking well late in lake it will work there but then there's just no way to use it like in such huge chunks of the game so i definitely would be just putting that in the storage locker and never bothering with it again to be honest um i'm tripod all the way but that was it that was it for this dlc uh, like I said, the tripod, definitely worth it for that, especially diamond hunting and that. It gives you a clearer view, uh, smaller hunting pressure, lower hunting pressure. Uh, it just has a lot of advantages. The only real disadvantage being weight. But it's, it's not a game breaker for me. But the tree stand... Um, Good for you if you can find a tree or actually let you attach to and an animal with a clear shot but otherwise probably the most useless dlc item i've come across and yeah but that's it for this episode next time we're going to be looking at some of the smoking barrels dlc got a few guns to check out there um and and we'll just see how they go at least i should be able to use them so until then, thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.